Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play another story quest. This time I'm going to do Xiao story quest. Uh, Alethus chapter. This one. So yeah, a few more story quests to go and then all the story quests will be done. Eh? I'm going to try to finish this before I play the new story uh, in the new update. So let's just go there first. Uh, go make this faster. Let me switch to my... Okay. <laughs> Are you just fighting each other? Is it just Paimon or is there something weird about those hilly trails over there? Right. Maybe it has something to do with that sort of dark energy they're giving off. Mm -hmm. Are we going to fight those two? Now that we've seen it, if we don't do anything about it, Paimon will feel really guilty. Let's go take care of them. Alright. With the evil aura. <laughs> um, I'll let them see for a second. My there we go. <laughs> Now what? Oh, these super evil hilly trolls are more difficult to defeat than the usual kind too. Really? That was easy. <laughs> hey, seems like people are gathering uh -oh. over there. Oh, wonder what they're doing. Oh? Sigil? Oh, what? <gasps> Some kind of adeptus Oh, out. you mean like Xiao? Now that you mention it, this guy's mask is kind of similar to the one that <coughs> he wears. But the magic he was using seemed even more adeptus -y than Xiao's. Shall we go say hi? This indeed divine, what this answer? <laughs> Star Snatcher. to thank me there's no need cleansing the world of evil is the duty of the adepti think nothing of it one certainly doesn't wait who are you one had assumed you were followers but on closer inspection it seems that we have not met my name's paimon and this is my sidekick then it is right that our paths coincide one too shall introduce oneself, for it is good manners to comply. <clears throat> the one before you is the Adeptus, Master of Stars. The one is better known to one's followers Star as Snatcher. Star Snatcher. One descended from one's mountain abode to cleanse the world of evil, whereupon fate saw fit that our paths should cross. Now, tell me that which you wish for. Our wishes? Paimon thought that the Adepti and Leilai were just really good in battle. You mean you can grant people's wishes too? <laughs> there are different levels of Adepti. Are not the stars loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon? Yet, it is He's unbecoming <laughs> of an Adepti to boast of one's powers. One would have you first speak to one's followers, and only then make your verdict. He speaks like Cloud Retainer, one would F, one would... <laughs> okay. Let's talk to this guy first. Have you seen the Master of Stars in action? His power truly hails from the Divine. I believe that now 
There is finally some hope for my ailing father. Watching him use his magic is all the proof you need. A true adeptus, no doubt about it. Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty adeptal to me. <laughs> hm. Could have also been because there was mist flower in it, though. Adepti medicine is surely the most potent. <laughs> My father will recover soon. I just know it. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices if you seek help from an adeptus like the Master of Stars. I had to give a few antiques as offerings. But my father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? Okay. The Millilith don't really need to do shifts when the Master of Stars is around, do they? Uh, I'm a merchant, and I had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me. As presumptuous as that was. Uh, reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. Uh, we didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. It didn't come cheap, of course. But then, soliciting the services of an adeptus is a monumental affair. Just look at the rite of dissension. So, I can accept it. But I doubt that most from outside of Liu would be willing to. And... Finally, a light full of hope and purpose. Oh, are you believers too? After my fiance had been left, I cried every day. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiance and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. I can't explain it, but it really worked. <sighs> I know in my heart that he'll return. This is not some sort of positive thinking trick. I'm certain of I'm so overjoyed that I gave a portion of my wedding budget to the Master of Stars as an offering. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiancé back. In which case, I wouldn't need it anyway. Hmm. What do you think? One's adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. <laughs> Surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Xie Wu Liang, known to the people as Liangzi. He said this, all things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Uh, <laughs> nope. It makes them way more complicated. But basically what you're saying is that their wishes can come true, right? Indeed. You are perceptive, my diminutive friend. Okay. Um, so we also have one other question. Oh? You need but ask. Why? Why do you wear a mask? Take it out, let me see. One wanders among mortals, doing good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. Ah, got it. Now then, what are your wishes? One senses that a tragic tale lies behind this wish. So be it. Hmm? This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. But first, one must see some proof of your faith. I guess you need What's to... What's that supposed to mean? Uh, offer something, I guess. The way of the Adepti cannot be grasped from <laughs> words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning, then regrettably, one may lend you no aid. What do we do? Python doesn't understand him at all. I think he wants some more. Uh, I think, yeah, just sweet and deal. Oh, that's right. Some of those yeah. believers mentioned that they had to pay a Offer pretty sum for the Adeptus' help, didn't they? Well, Paimon's not forking over any Mora, and we don't have anything valuable enough on us. You don't even have a vision. Mm, 
Yeah. Hey, why don't we make him a tasty snack? No one can resist the temptation of good food. Can they? Yep. Good idea. A tasty snack is sure to work. Why don't we head over to One One Bookhouse and see if they got any new recipes in? One One Bookhouse. This is interesting. Uh, cut him. I'm out of here. All right. Oh, this guy's here. So, you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes. Here. And keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Hmm? Hey, isn't that... Um, Star Snatcher? <laughs> what a coincidence running into him again! Coincidence or Adepta Incidence? <laughs> Did you hear the name of the book he just bought? Yeah, Yaksha. Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adepta? <laughs> hmm. But now that Paimon thinks about it, there's something that's just not right about this guy. His mess is so ugly. <laughs> uh, I'll say this thing. Huh. That's a good point. But it's not more right. None of the other adepti we've met seemed like they needed anything from anyone. Hmm. Paimon thinks we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Talk to G Fong. Hey there! We'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti. Do you have one in stock? Huh. Since when did that old chestnut become a bestseller? You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that desk over there. Okay. Desk. Um, is it desk? Oh, this one. Yup, just a guardian of that time. This is the one! Let's see what it's all about, shall we? <sighs> In ancient Ooh. times, Liyue was a land of misery, where the Zong shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, Miasmas, monsters, and mutations mm -hmm. infested the land. Mm -hmm. Then Rex Lapis oh, summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the Summon demons. The Yakshas. They swore an oath. Restore yes, order through slaughter. Purge evil through Let's battle. Do that. Yeah, to this, yeah, we yeah. dedicate our lives. Okay. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them. Phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. Death came to In three. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole oh. surviving Yaksha. Sound of the Dihua flute is his memory preserved. <laughs> Betty and Xiao. Okay. Hold on. They said one disappeared without a trace, so the Electro Yaksha disappeared, isn't it? This book is about the Yakshas, a group of Adepti who defend Lyra. Hmm. Seems like a pretty niche topic. Was there any? The electro, not Xiao, but the electro one. <laughs> uh, the soul surviving. 
about demons, about karma, about the soul surviving. Well, soul surviving, we know is Xiao. But, sure. So, there used to be five main Yakshas, but supposedly only one of them is still alive today. And the other one is missing. Not dead, but missing. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that Star Snatcher guy? Hmm. No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. No, it's Xiao, right? Then this last session maybe following Xiao's uh, idea maybe what? I don't know. Uh, demons. The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. Wrathful spirits of the gods defeated. Okay. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, hey, wait a second. Paimon wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly churls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Hmm, huh? The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all their years of protecting Lila, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. Yep, Paimon thinks we've Not already quite. summed up all the key points. There's one missing. The one missing. The one Yaksha missing. So back to the matter at hand. <laughs> the things we need answers on are one, where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And two, what does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas? Right? Okay. Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigations. <laughs> let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Joy and Karst and let the truth shine through in its full glory. <laughs> to be honest, Pinot actually hopes he is a real adeptus. Uh, his exorcism technique seemed real enough at least. Yeah, but that's Xiao actually, not him. But if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. All right, let's head back to Wang Chu Inn. Okay. Good for Star Statue again. I mean, he was just here. <laughs> It was so coincidental that he was uh, there when he teleported back and now we're looking back for him <laughs> at the same spot. Are the three people here as well? That doesn't make sense if the three are here. Oh wait, the villagers. Oh? What? They're not attacking. My command, foul demons. Flee! Oh, not working. Why, why won't you flee? Very near, very near. <laughs> uh oh, looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble. And there are innocent bystanders here too. Uh, we have to step in. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Even he is scared, so it's definitely... Oh, I don't get it. Why didn't the sigil of permission do anything? Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? Sigil of permission, huh? Now why does that sound familiar? The get out of Juyun free card. <laughs> That's what he was using for his exorcisms. Right! It's a keepsake of the Adepti, so it must still contain traces of their power! Oh, no wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier! What are you two babbling 
on about. One is merely underslept, meaning mm. that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Were one but given another opportunity... Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of <laughs> evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you, then? I, uh, uh, one suddenly feels I ill at ease. Won. <laughs> Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. <sighs> so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. <sighs> Come on, traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight. Hunt them down. God damn it. Okay. Let me just stop. One is merely feeling unwell. One hopes that you shall not spread these tidings wantonly. <laughs> well, let me listen to the other guys. It's not like the Master of Stars to fail an exorcism. Perhaps he isn't feeling well today? Okay. I can't believe that the Master of Stars wasn't powerful enough to defeat those Hillichurls. They never fought, they just shoot him away. <laughs> There. A good thing we had you around, huh? Alright. So, where? All the way there? Yeah! There's one here, actually. That's not. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's Xiao and the Hillages are asleep. Better not wake them up then. Xiao is here. It's you. I remember you. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. <laughs> What's going on? But you are exercising demons. How is that? Causing trouble. That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Oh. Mutations? Karma? Yeah. <gasps> Does that so mean... is the Yaksha. Yeah. Paimon remembers that Shao is know also that really. called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? <gasps> so... So that means... Oh. Mm, poor Xiao. <laughs> I see. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. Fan fiction? <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. That's the most. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh, I'm unsorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence, so we shall part ways here. Wait! Take us with you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! No need. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then... Oh, consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now. Please? Well, I... Uh, <laughs> come on, then. All right. Um, so, Xiao, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? Yeah. Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But in recent years... Other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. Finish your preparations and we shall enter. We should not leave those monsters be for too long. Alright then, let's go. Karma Heavy Cavern. According to Xiao, their mutation might be connected to his karmic death. 
no recommended anything so I will just use um, I don't need venti because cell is already animal yeah uh, but maybe I don't want to do I have a healer bandit I don't want to use... Okay, wait. You know what? Just bring the Archons Didn't in. keep you waiting, <laughs> did I? Just bring all the Archons in. Should be fine. I'm using Xiao anyway. Right? Gives Simon goosebumps. I will use the ritual known as the bane of all evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. This reminds me of Shenhe's done quest study. Ooh. What? Quest specific effect as a result of the buildup of divine karma in the area shall have bane of all evil permanently activated. And will constantly lose HP. Uh, the effects of that divine karma will allow Xiao to regenerate HP when he deals damage. Oh, Xiao loses HP per turn, uh, per second. Okay, so I have to, I have to keep fight. Why, why did I pick characters then? <laughs> um, I have to hurry then. Oh, so has cool. Yeah, I, I know the plant attack is the his signature. He just jumped already high enough already. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> he just jumped when he. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, I don't even need- I just need to plant attack on him. No wonder people you sell. <laughs> Man. I just realized you can. We'll continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. I just realized you can uh, uh, use this skill while it's on the air. Prepare to die, fool! Worthless! Holy shit! Oh my gosh. Wait, that means can I? Useless. Oh. So he jumps high when he's in this form. But he loses health every uh, second. Right. Okay. So you can just. <laughs> Holy shit. Worthless. Worthless. Just jump in flames. 
him. Yeah, this plants, they do seem to have a lot of damage. And this is a fuss. I think this guy like this. The plunge. Yeah, so just plunge. <laughs> okay, done. It is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this star snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Ooh, Paimon will tell you. An adeptus who grants wishes. To think that mm. people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. As an Adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Yo? The Liyue of yesteryear would never ask the Adepti for boons unearned. Millennia ago, the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. Okay. Uh, to be honest, an Adepti who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. However feeble people nowadays may be, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Mm -hmm. Oops, Hyman spoke without thinking again. Oh, uh, one more thing? That fake Adeptus has a sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Wait, truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Just confiscate? Great minds think alike! <laughs> Paimon agrees. That's all We've gotta to do. show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us! And it just so happens that we've got a real adeptus with us too! If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never dare to pose as an adeptus ever again! No. I only slay demons. Hmm. I do not kill mortals. Makes sense. Who said anything about killing him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill him, just kill him. It would certainly benefit Liyue if we could convince him to cease his wicked yeah. ways. I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body. That Whoa. one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. But it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa. Now that's a real Adepti art for ya! <laughs> He's scared him out of his boots for sure. A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature? Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, right? But as for the sensor and the seven lamps... Probably not the kinds of things are gonna just stumble hmm. across in the wild. Yeah. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern <gasps> I remember those statues. I was trying to find a damn Geoculus. I don't know where was it. Yeah, yeah, I know that statue. The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. Okay. You should still be able to find some ceremonial I'm items going back there. there again. All Once right. you have found them. Meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use this art. Alright, let's go. Yeah, what was the point of me picking characters when I don't use them? <laughs> uh, yeah. Doesn't really matter, I was using Xiao the whole time. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Yes. Xiao is broken when he's in that mode. His health slowly goes down, but you can plunge. 
Infinite times eh. I think uh and since Yas Ben is coming, oh my gosh. I guess I'm getting Xiao after all. <laughs> we'll see that. So wait. Why are we going here? The spirit soars the mountains high. While the body rests as the world goes by. Um sorry to interrupt you. Since there's some uh... Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? A pair walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> we know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest. For the dream trawler ritual, I trust. Yes, it should be. <gasps> I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the Adepti arts. Wow. Hyman's never heard of that happening before. Ah, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. They serve little purpose here, in any case. Hmm. Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Please, okay. take what you wish. Collect the items needed for the ritual. Is this it? Yeah. This sensor should be fine, right? How do we carry this? At least it isn't as run down as the shrine. You tend to the type of trust from the sensor. Okay. So next, we just need to grab the seven stars. Seven star lands. Oh, yeah, seven star lands means seven of them, okay. Mm. <laughs> Nothing that you need concern. Okay, still the same dialogue. Seven star lands. Is this? Yeah. Okay, I see. There's seven of them. I can see them all around. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Okay. And... There you go. Has he left? Yeah, he's left. <laughs> What's this? Huh? Where'd he go? He was right here. I presume that once you had acquired oh. what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. Uh, it's that guy's voice. It's a statue. Hello? Where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion. That was an illusion. By the Adepti art known as Mortal Lingering. Okay. Now that you have taken the seven star lamps and sensors, oh, I see. Ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. Oh, that was for the ritual. Okay, so you're a ghost? I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas. Bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. Yet my strength failed, and I was slain in battle. Today is the anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern Liyue, and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the conqueror yes. of demons, were you not? So, you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> Even after all these millennia, 
You still must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervasis. You sacrificed your life for Lila, didn't you? Life is a precious thing, yes. But when I think of the burden that the conqueror of demons must bear, death seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish indulgence, even. Pervasis. <laughs> I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions. But by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two. And please pass on my regards to the conqueror of demons. <sighs> if only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. By wave and storm, Paimon yeah. really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervasis the Yaksha. We should get going. But let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Okay. I didn't know about this place. Back to the Yaksha statues after nightfall. Mmm, I can just teleport here and just drop down. <laughs> After nightfall. Huh? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Osmanthus okay, shut up. Have you gathered the items for the ritual? Hmm. This sensor and these lamps. Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Where did you the come places. by them? Oh, and, um, she says hi! Pervases. <sighs> yes. This does have the hallmarks of something Pervases might do. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Liyue behind, either. I hope that its present state will allow him to rest in peace. <laughs> well then, let us begin preparing for the ritual. Place the sensor in the middle, and surround it with the seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of abject cold. Once this is done, we shall proceed. Okay. Uh, we don't need to do anything. Yes, this will do. <laughs> now, the next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. There are four steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense, meditation, incantation, and loosing an arrow. Loosing an arrow. That seems like a real rigmarole. Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings <laughs> as rigmarole. Failure to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body, or cause the spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. Oh. <laughs> Stop talking! I'm sorry! When offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Devayaksha, bring forth sin! Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. If all goes well, Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> if you have no other questions, let us begin. Oh my, I have to do something now. 
Uh, off for incense, that's right. Then we meditate. Paimon really doesn't want to think about that fraud. Uh, bring for sin. That one? It looks like the Yaksha statues are glowing at the waist. So we just fire one arrow each at the glowing parts, right? Oh, okay, I see. Done. Close enough. Leave the rest to me. You two get ready to greet him. Oh, I see. Where is one? Huh? Uh, you two look familiar. What's with one's body? One feels light, weightless. Guess what? You're already dead. <laughs> That's scared of me. Dead? Impossible. One was just lying in peaceful repose at Wang Shu Inn. Wait, that must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an adeptus such as oneself, one must indeed be in a dream. Uh, there's no helping this guy, is there? Hmm. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will permit such insolence in one's own dreams? Alright, time to take him down a peg. Oh wait. We're fighting him? But punish the false adeptus spirit. Uh okay. Gather! Oh, such impertinence. Where are one's followers when one needs them? <laughs> oh damn it. Here we go! Did you just fall? Stop it! Stop it now! What's happening? Is this really not a dream? <laughs> there you go. B please stop! I surrender! I surrender! <sighs> uh, no! No, never again! You, you almost killed me! Oh, how did I ever have the misfortune to meet you two? Please, great adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. We did call your spirit here, but we're not a death die. He, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade as an adeptus. Exorcise demons without exterminating them. And display a callous lack of regard for life. One day, you will reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Uh, I... You're... Seems like Shell's got him scared stiff. Oh, great Adeptus. Uh, might I ask your name? It really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the vigilant Yaksha himself. You know about Shell? Well, he read about uh, the Yaksha, so surely. Of course. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the Conqueror of Demons at his knee. To this day, I am an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first, I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. But slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Huh. So to sum you up, <laughs> you're Xiao's biggest fan? Yes. Thank you both for allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Uh, that wasn't <laughs> quite our intention. Yeah, but please I allow guess. me to swear this oath before the great conqueror of demons. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. 
I will remember your oath. Now go. Thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness. And for all that you have done for Lear. Well, that was, uh, he seemed very good earnest when somehow. he was making that <laughs> oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. Oh, wait. We haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's head over to Wang Shuin first thing tomorrow and look for him. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay, where did Xiao go? Miss Flower. Okay. Where did Xiao go? He nearly disappeared. <laughs> Alright. We're going back to. Hey there, boss! Star Snatcher's staying here, right? Star Snatcher? Hmm, you mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? He signed in here under the name Wang Ping An. Wang Ping An. He's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes! He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together <laughs> with a talking, talking fairy, fairy, should they come asking for him. Talking fairy? Who's that? You are. <laughs> well, mind? anyway, you must be the traveler. Here's the letter. How strange that he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it. Paimon's curious. Huh? Seems like he actually left us a few nice trinkets. Embark upon my journey suffering for men. Can I apologize to two of you? Okay. And the one who always wears a mask just so he needs to wear when facing demons. Or you ask someone to return the money and cheat others off. They only used to me and my son. Please take them. Please take the sage of permission that my grandfather left. One pin and okay. He's up here, isn't he? Oh no, he's down here. Ah, there you are! We got the sigil of permission back. Do you want to take it? You have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled ticker fish. Oh, ticker fish. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh. No almond tofu this time? <laughs> well, that's not like Xiao. I guess it's, uh... Ah, I forgot the name already. Ticker fish was Pervasi's Pervasi's favorite yeah. dish. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. That's what you said. <laughs> was there anything else? I am accustomed to eating alone. Aha! Uh -huh. And so, Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away. <laughs> so that's it then. Yep. Guess where you're from. Not quite. No, it is done. Yeah, the quest is done. It didn't show, but it's done. Alright guys, that's Xiao story quest. One left for uh Li Wei character. And then we got two more for Inazuma. Three more story quests left, eh? And then 
story quest will be all done. Alright, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.